What's up, Fire Nation? It's your boy Rico, along with my little big cousin G Babe and our boy Raul, the Zookeeper. And we are the Friendly Fire Podcast, the hottest podcast on either side of the Mississippi. Episode 20, baby, Dub Club. Yeah, we doing it for Nipsey. Yes, sir. 2020. 20, 20. How y'all oh. doing today, fellas? Well, this check. Doing pretty good. I can't complain. Oh, man, this mic is trash. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? We good, we good, we yeah, good. Okay. Good. How you doing, Zoo? We're good. It's easy season. It's here. <laughs> is it, though? Is it's it here. easy season? It, is it easy season? season? It's like fall. I mean, no, it's like winter. Sometimes it doesn't snow on the first day. It's like Sometimes the it doesn't snow on, in December. It's the calm before the storm. But by February, it's snowing. That's what it is. It's Chicago in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Chicago. I mean, he's this Chicago. Album, he got Dirk on the album. He do. He, he do. So, um, before, before we... Oh, yeah. Yeah, here you go. You got it. Before we get into Donda and Yeezy season and all of that, I have a question of the day from one of your very own within the Fire Nation. This is coming Shout from Dex. Shout out Fire Nation. This is coming from oh. Dex from Chicago. Famous he has Dex. A- <laughs> Long time listener. Dexter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Dex. I also shout out his podcast, the Basketball... Uh, lab- the Laboratory Podcast. I'm sorry. Ooh, we just well, butchered Dex. No, Shots I, fired. I fixed it. I fixed it. The Laboratory Damn, Podcast. Comes the Dex track. track. Damn. Damn. Uh, we got an ether in there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he asked a question because he a lot of people have actually been really liking when we talk about movies. Mm-hmm. So his question was, "What is the best spoof?" I said, basically, you can't go wrong with anything uh, made by the Wayans. So don't I, be a scary movie. I said, "Don't be a don't be a menace." Oh, I thought, gonna say, I thought you were saying scary movie. <laughs> you scary, scary movie. Scary movie. Scary movie one and two is up there. Though. Yeah, Both of them are the up way, there. By the Wayans. It's personal. It's per- personal preference. Uh huh. Uh, what's another spoof? I'm gonna get you, sucker. That was the OG. You can't hate uh, on the OG. No, I'm the saying, real, hu- real husbands of Hollywood. That whole that's thing. That's like spoof series. Well, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I know what a spoof is, but I was just yeah. going off like off movie spoof, like oh, the disaster movie movies yeah. and the epic movie. Um, yeah, the epic. Movies, I was just thinking yeah. about something because it kind of goes into another thing I be talking about sometimes is like the um, the genres, like the hood movie genre. Like you have the spoof genre where you can't hate no. on like I, I'm gonna get you sucker. It might not be the best, yeah. but it started it. It really yeah. did. So it's like you can't hate on it. It's like the hood movies. You'd be like, you can't hate Boys in the Hood, even though looking back, it might not be the world's greatest. Yeah. Mm. But it's the one that kicked it off. I yeah. know. So it's like you can't really hate it. <laughs> Ice Cube was giving us uh, Denzel. Uh, and O Dog was giving us O Dog. <laughs> had, had them tears ready. And Ace was giving us Ace and Money Making Mitch. Yeah, so yeah. I, it's hard. It, that's a hard one. My boy I think Cuba I was, good I think and I was, that, that punching scene. Oh, dude, I hate him. I hate him. Ice Cube was the best part of that movie. You think so? Ice Cube and Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence I mean, everybody. Else, I just I, at that point, I wasn't really. I think it was a, it was a well balanced. It was a well balanced. It was a good movie. I'm not shitting on it. I yeah. love because you had like the up and coming actors, but you already had like the solid. He had the staples. Yeah, like all right. Like, very good. Case. Like, oh, Ice Cube can really, he's not just a rapper. Like, yeah. He can actually do this. He just talked about it on the Up in Smoke episode. Uh-huh. They had him on there. He was like, yeah, this dude, John Singleton, I didn't know who he was. He was in college. Yeah. He was an intern. He blah, blah, blah. He was like, I got a movie. I got a movie. I got a movie. He was like, I find, he finally sat down with him. He was like, here's Boys in the Hood. Yeah. Wow. And he was like, I didn't even bullshit about the script. Yeah. And he was like, now nah, you still got to audition. And he was like, I had to reread the script. And he was like, that's when I got it. But he was like, I was. Like I didn't care about doing no movie. That's crazy. So I was like, it was cool. I was like, that took everything off. Yeah. Was wow. Rest in peace, John Singer. What rest but, in peace, John Singer? Great question. Yeah. Rest in peace. Uh, great question, Dex. But yeah. I think, I'm, a, I'm gonna say, don't be a miss. Don't be a miss has to be. I think my, that's yeah, my. It's really top good. It's up that, there. That, what you, about you? Scary movie no, is scary a bad movie. thing. Scary I go with scary the first or second one. Second. Second. Okay. Yeah, I ain't even gonna lie. Three was solid. It get a lot of hate, but three was good. I, the basketball scene in two is by far like the best. Like the, the jokes in two was hilarious. It, it, was, My terms. <laughs> I'm just gonna get up and walk away. I was like, damn, <laughs> you can't say nothing else. <laughs> I like that though. Shout out Dex for that question, yeah, man. Shout out Dex. Uh, if you guys are interested in our oh, all man. basketball podcast, check out the Laboratory podcast with Dex and Lowe's. It's a for great, sure. great show. For sure. Um, now for the tweet of the day, so tweet of the week. I'm sorry. This is coming off. I, you actually like because I uh, I quoted it with with a joke. They were saying, you should never show up to the airport empty-handed. What do you mean? And then... <laughs> was it the airport? Yes. You, oh, should right. never, you should never be picking up... You should never be picking your girl up from the airport oh, yeah, 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 empty-handed. Yeah. Oh, and then... Oh, and, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I thought, then, I thought we were, like, going on a trip, and I'm giving the store this. No, no, no. Uh, you like, should they, never, thanks for the catering. You should, you should <laughs> never... They say you should never show up to the airport empty-handed. And then this one girl compounded that and said, and you should never show up in flip-flops. And I, I tweeted her. I was like, flip-flops? She was like, yes, my ex picked me up from the airport in flip-flops. And the first thing I said was, why do you have on flip-flops? I'm like, there's a reason why you're single now. Because he's just picking you up. 
Did it, he it, get it, out the car? And a bunch of flights I, are so like, I guess like to get her bag or something to put yeah. back in the car. I'm like, who, how many times you looked at somebody's shoes at the airport? And that's like a five minute, because you're already there <laughs> inside. <laughs> Like, Unless you go all the way inside for her, but... I mean, even then, it's like, bro, I'm picking you up. <laughs> it's and, all type of North Korean people around us. Like, I don't care about what none of them got to say about And then what time nothing. was the flight? It was like an 8 a.m. flight. I'm just waking up, going to pick you up, and coming back And home. I don't think the person who tweeted the initial tweet is from Chicago. Because if you've ever tried to the pick O'Hare. somebody up from O'Hare or oh, Midway, you like just get. You should be getting in the car as I'm driving. No, you're going to be you on gotta, that ramp. You, like, gotta, you start walking yeah. down that ramp. You got to yeah. do like an action move. You got to jump in the window as I'm driving. Through. The, the, they're, they're like, <laughs> even the second you start slowing down, even though that's the designated pickup station, the people are yelling at you like, move. No, like, you can't <laughs> stop here. You can't stop here, <laughs> sir. No, buddy, I, was, I wouldn't get out. <laughs> got, go around again. My girl took too yeah. long one time. She went to the bathroom or something. I'm like, I'm outside. She's like, oh, I went to the bathroom. I'm like, all right, well, dude, was like yeah you got to make a whole loop around yeah. and come back um all right ain't no way in the world oh come empty handed i got both hands on this steering wheel to make sure uh, why is it just looking <laughs> she better be out here i'm going home i ain't gonna do this again yeah you, you get, i call an uber oh, you, you get two loops and that's that's two loops. Yeah. well you finna have to walk meet me yeah. at this at the hotel that's, down that's, the street yeah, I'll that pick you up and, and that and that two loops comes with uh if, like, you're my friend or anything, you're buying me food for the day. I got a half something. bag of chips over there. <laughs> <laughs> we got to sit through this bullshit traffic some more. I told her, I'm like, shoot, that, I, I told the girl that was tweeting, I'm like, shoot, you could have took a parking fly if you was going to be bougie like oh, that. Man. You That way you don't got to wear no flip-flops when you go pick yourself up and you can get yourself some flowers because ain't nowhere in the world. Oh, don't show up empty hand. I came with this car. Yeah. I, what you I, say? I, my, brought, I brought the car. Zeus said earlier, "My presence is my presence." <laughs> <laughs> Take me. <laughs> what? What more do you want? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Knowing damn well if you ask ten other people, the ten other people are gonna say, "No, nah, I can't pick you up." Cause it's O'Hare. Yeah. Or it's Midway. The worst. The- and it's like, man, if they, if your flight get here, if you get off the plane at nine forty, if you're not out that door yeah. at nine forty three, like you're not gonna probably for like, real get picked up till ten fifteen. Like, especially <laughs> at O'Hare. Especially as fast as they move. Yeah. And then yeah. like at O'Hare, you miss one exit. That's so, like it. the you terminal. All the way. All the, it's like another thirty minute drive to make it go <laughs> you, around. You, the you have airport. to leave. It's so evil. Yeah. It's so evil, bro. It yeah. don't even make no sense. It's if like, you're in the wrong lane, <laughs> you going all bro, the way. I'm home. telling you, one time I went out, I dropped my girl. I didn't know the, the the GPS started like tweaking. It was like take this exit. I'm like up or my, she was like just take the left one. Yeah. I'm like all right. Here we, because if I would have took the right way, we would have had to loop all the way back around. I'm like, man, yeah, nah. you need to be ready. When I'm yeah, saying yeah. we outside, we out. I'm outside. Like, don't it's- text me, come pick me up unless you outside. <laughs> Even if it take me an hour to get to the airport, you be, be outside. Yeah. Sit on your yeah. luggage. It's yeah. like catch something, but you gotta be ready. You gotta like, be ready. In Chicago, it, like, there's two places you don't want to go: O'Hare and Lower Wacker. That, like the word. I actually like Lower Wacker. I've got Lower Wacker looks cool when you don't got if you know if you know where you're going. <laughs> I don't be knowing because man, I be I, I be in there speed racing. I went, uh-uh, when but. I went to the the Cubs game the other day, I was engaged in conversation, so I was just listening oh, to my no. I was into my GPS and GPS is for whatever reason, yeah. but they love to take you to Lower Wacker even though they don't work. They so I'm listening it, and then I make the exit. And then that's when I noticed I'm going into lower, and I was like, no, fuck. Bro, you way. go to lower wacky drive. It's about to be drive, a 20 minute drive. And your GPS just like loses all off. confidence yeah, in yeah. itself. Bro. Like, well, if you if you want, you can turn right here. And then once once you exit, finally, oh, I made the exit out, out of lower wacker. Like your GPS is like, oh no, wait, go back in. <laughs> it's like no, because <laughs> they'll tell you, oh, you made the wrong exit, then they'll make you ride. Lower Wacker yeah. all the way to Navy Pier. Yeah, be like leave. There's only two exits on Lower Wacker. You get <laughs> out, you come back around, they have to ride all the way back the other Lower way. Wacker was built by Batman. I'm, I'm convinced. <laughs> I, only, I really only know one way to that Lower Wacker, and that pretty much gives me downtown where I need to like, be. That's why they use that spot for races, because yeah. like there's, yeah. no, there's no entrance. It's just like we're racing to the exit. So <laughs> one exit there is. And that's if you get off, no like you, you gave up if you get off this moment. Yeah, yeah. I told because I remember I don't even know where I was. At, I was trying to get home, and I'm sitting there. I'm like, okay, say so take a little whack. It's like my second time ever doing it. Um, it's nighttime too, so it's, it was open, so I had yeah. like space to U-turn and stuff. I'm like, bro, this got to be more to life than this. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I can't keep doing this. No, like this, no. I, if I say go to Little Wack, I'm just going home. Like, yeah. bro, I, I, I take the long way I, and just go all the way to Lake Shore. Yeah, yeah. Like, that, that, <laughs> like I'll, I'll catch you on the next go round, bro. That don't make no sense. <laughs> it's so confusing to drive down downtown because you have all them streets that all right, you can't go any further on this one. You can't make the yeah. left. 
So you got to make the right. And then this yeah. one, you can't make the right. So you yeah. got to go. And like Lakeshore yeah. is cool. And I love Lakeshore. Like last night I was on Lakeshore. John Dusau, they, they drive. Do, oh, yeah. <laughs> drive Lakeshore. We're not doing that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> like they were doing like fireworks and you know that like, you could see it because there's traffic. But the only thing I don't like about Lakeshore is that half, it's, it's a fucking, it's basically an expressway. That's split. with stoplights. Yeah. It's like we're going 70 and then like 10 feet from me, it's like over light. And it's like, holy <laughs> shit. And now everybody's like fucking Which stopping Which is so on wild because it's like somebody, like you get stopped at the stoplight, but the person right in front of you yeah. is still going 70. So it's like, yeah. why is this here? There's no need for it to be there because it's not like nah. you're, you're not entering in on yeah. local. On, That's because they got all them like, it's an expressway with yeah. like, it's like if you was just driving down a regular street and you had a stop sign and then there's the expressway, like a train track. Yeah. Instead of crossing over a train, you have to cross an expressway. So that's why there's lights and stuff. Because especially the museum, the bears yeah. is over there. But that, so it, it's they like... Do, they, they mess up the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> when, that, when that light come on, it's like, bro. Damn. What do you think is the worst city... In, uh, not city. Uh, worst <laughs> street in Chicago? At any given time of the day, what street will you just like not touch? Uh... Shoot, Canal Street is terrible on Canal the south side. Is pretty Canal bad. is terrible on the south side. Uh, I mean, we could Belmont's go like bad. Belmont and Fullerton get bad in the afternoons. Yeah. They get real bad. Madison always sucks. Cicero is bad. Cicero's, Cicero's really Cicero's Pulaski bad. is the worst street in, in the world. Especially that street is terrible. <laughs> it's like littered with potholes. Yeah. And then they decide to do construction and then stick for five months. To they cut do it down to one lane. <laughs> no, they'll do constructions on both sides of the street. Yeah. So both sides of the street. All right, you go and then you go. And then it's like, yeah. no, I got to turn. So it's like, we're going to be here an hour. <laughs> that street is terrible. Fire Nation, my we Chicago like Land Fire Nation members, let us know what's yeah. the worst street in Chicago. I and then the expressways would be like Stevenson. That yeah. was pretty fucking bad. I don't know. Let me mm. see. Uh, Ashland to Central on the 290 is yeah. the worst. <laughs> when you get to Harlem, it's like, thank God. Yeah, it's like, after, I'm home. I'm home. It's I'm weird. Home now. After Harlem, it's like, boom, everything opens everything up. Everything opens up. But yeah. it's like, Two blocks before you even get to Harlem, you're well, five like, miles. when you're on Austin, it's like, yeah, you're, you're, you're rolling. On Central, you're rolling. It's you're like, just rolling there. It's like My dad's logic is like, as long as you're going 20 miles an hour on the expressway, you're faster than you would be taking the streets. And I be take, I be using that logic sometimes. I'm <laughs> I've like, never heard that. That, that was that, gangsters that, here. Yeah, that's I never his, that, that's his logic. He be like, if, I, if I'm going 20 miles on the expressway, it's still faster than taking the streets. Uh -huh. I'm like... I get that, but there's got to be more than life than this 20 mile an hour down Austin, because this is ridiculous. Exactly. Like, and then I always hear LA's traffic's bad and all that, but when I work a uh, valet uh, downtown, I would have there would be a lot of tourists from California, like uh -huh. in LA, and they'd be like, "This is the worst traffic I've ever been in." And I'm like, "Really? I'm always seeing pictures from LA, but it's like it's a 10 lane expressway and they're all full, yeah. and then like everyone says the shit." But no, I've had like multiple Cali LA people be like, no, this is the worst traffic I've ever been in. I heard Texas is really bad too. I heard yeah. Houston has. I heard New Houston York's has, always up there. New York, you don't even pay to have a car out there. Yeah, you don't. It, you lose money to have a car. Yeah, I think out it's like there. better to have an Uber. Or a taxi yeah, out there. like literally even everybody. Or the train. Everybody bikes or takes the train. Mm -hmm. Y'all saw that the train flooded and that lady jumped in there to oh, see. Oh, yeah. I did see that. I was like, where are you Ooh, trying no. to go that bad? I was. I'm getting fired from whatever this job yeah, is. I'm not gonna do this. She just looked at it. She was like. And it's like I got it. It's like she didn't have anything. She had a whole purse. She was using the purse as like a floaty device. That probably ain't <laughs> been her first time, and she's very reckless out there. So <laughs> y'all be careful in the New York street. Be careful in the New York street flooded train yeah. station. And then like speaking like super quick on the New York, you saw that dude that like pooped in the yes. in the bucket. Bro was mop <laughs> he was actively mopping. That was funny. Bro was he was in the train station actively mopping and some dude I was like, that. I gotta go. <laughs> like, sir. <laughs> like, excuse me, sir. You could have went on the floor <laughs> and I would have cleaned it up. But you didn't get oh man. This is my supply. I, I, mean, I quit. I ain't got time for this today. <laughs> I'll get paid enough for this. I do not. And then all the bystanders were like, no, no. And like, then, don't and then, do it. And then you just started doing it. They're like, all right, like, let's go on with my day. <laughs> I'm not finna. No, I mean, you, I'm not finna go in there and stop him. I'm gonna yeah. tackle him off the dude damn bucket. tried to push him off at first, and the dude stood up like like mid like shit, and then he's like, "All right, never mind, never mind." Bro, continue what you was doing. Forget bro, it. like man, all right, all right <laughs> That's <bro>. hurry up. <laughs> all right, damn, I I know that pain though. I know having to go, but I ain't never just disrespected nobody yeah. like that. Not on the job. That's man. bad, bro. That's ho bro. Like he gotta go back and clean his bucket out. <laughs> Pussy boy didn't come back here. Now he gotta. Remop everything he didn't just did. bro you man that's reckless bro. that's, evil. that's terrible it goes that dude Lex Luthor <laughs> that, that dude is terrible 
Oh, oh man. man. Speaking of Lex Luthor, Bezos has gone to space. Ah. A real he, life Lex Luthor. Well, he told the line yes. of Bezos. Space ish. Yeah. He tiptoed on space. That was yeah. the ultimate clickbait. I'm going, I, like I said, I thought he was going to go into the moon or, or like at least like orbit the Earth once. Yeah. Like, nah, he like. He like it went up, it like touched space, and then he just went back down. <laughs> just was literally, he, was, he, he, he did just enough what he could afford. He was like, "All right, now we can reach him. Got it. All right, I did what I was supposed to do." I was way more excited when I found out the Red Bull dude jumped from yeah. like yeah. a little bit higher from space. I yeah. was like, "Oh shit, that dude caught on fire!" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bezos was like, "I just want to see what the what." The like, no, I seen like. that nigga fall. I was yeah. like, "I don't want yeah. that." No. <laughs> I just want the views. I just want the views. That's all it was. He was just scoping out the landscape, like, oh, okay, hotel. Hey, that's his Tesla over there. He did put it up. (laughs) That's where my first Amazon factory in space could go. (laughs) Going to be supplying the Martians. They're going to shoot one of them Scud missiles at your crib. (laughs) Here's your charcoal toothbrush. (laughs) Sticking out my chest. Thank thank you, Jeff Bezos. (laughs) Thank you. I needed this. What do y'all think? Like, okay, so what do y'all think about, like, the fact that people are now able to just afford to do stuff like that like well, what's not just people like what's it's like, next it's like five people. People. yeah but it's i'm saying like knowing that knowing that he's gonna probably try to find a way to market this to sell this experience oh, yeah. yeah so it's like to, i'll do it i'll go to you can go buns. to the edge of the air for two million dollars like oh cool. oh yeah no no, no not, you see what no, i'm saying no, like yeah, i would want to go edge. to space yeah i would want to go to space like orbit or like even if it is the edge like, let me be up there for a cool five hours or something. something what, yeah. about 20 minutes space time? <laughs> yeah. like, all right, guys, let's bring it back. You go, all right. Yeah. <laughs> but damn, I ain't seen nothing up here. Because, <laughs> like, thinking about it, space, because since it's so, you're, they'll probably make you have to train somewhat. Like, you no, know, you have astronauts. to go through some shit. So, it's like training, and then, like, probably that day of, it's like 10 hours of prep. Just for twenty minutes, it's like the 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 lines at Six Flags. I'm in that fucking line for five minutes for three minutes. I mean for, for five th- hours five for three hours. minutes. Yeah, I'm I'm cool on that. I'm good. So we get the we, flash pass for sixty bucks. <laughs> we've I'm gone here. on this quest. Where what's worse? Would you rather like space or like the ocean? Space for sure. Space is danger more dangerous. No than no the ocean. no. The ocean is more dangerous. Oh yeah. Than no, the ocean. I was gonna say, yeah. I you were saying between the two. Like, oh yeah. You go. O- I would go to space. You would go to space. Yeah. I would go to space. I go to space. I know my limits with the ocean. Like forget that. If I if I don't see the bottom, I don't want it. I, yeah. Oh yeah, you posted that picture at the beach yep, that, when you was like the parking lot. I ain't even going on the sand because the sand is filthy. Like forget that, bro. We went to the dunes. I stayed right. I got my toes wet. I'm like, that's enough for today. I, I, I have reached the pinnacle. I don't know what's in Lake Michigan. Rico got to a drop of water. Don't nobody touch me. I ain't trying to drown. I'll kill everybody at this beach yeah. if my knees get wet. I'm six seven. I bet not get the, the, the ankle. Better be it. Yeah. Oh, oh, the ocean's a scary, scary we, we, place. We reach, is scary. We reach calf level. It's over with. Somebody yeah. got to fight. Oh, no. I'll percent. jump in there until I start. Wait, that wave. That was a little too hard to get back. <laughs> All right. Let me stop. Yeah. <laughs> like, it took us 100 years to find the fucking Titanic. And we knew where it sunk. Yeah. We just couldn't reach the bottom. That's scary. Does that make DiCaprio <laughs> a better swimmer than what's his face? Michael <laughs> Phelps? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Phelps. <laughs> Michael Phelps would have found it. He got up out of there quick. He made, <laughs> had a movie career right after that. <laughs> Fact. And then, like, I see, I saw a video once where, like, a dude was getting chased by, like, a shark or something. Or something. Maybe it was a shark. Shark but, infested water. But when you go scuba diving, before you rise up all the way, do you have to stay? Like, there's this certain, like, depth that you have to stay under. Mm-hmm. Because if you pass it too quick, the pressure it'll releases. Crack it. So, like, it'll either crack it or, like, sometimes your eyes will, like, potentially pop out or mm-hmm. like blood vessels will burst so you have to stay there and you're waiting like i don't know i think it's like a minute or two minutes and you're like, fucking seeing this fucking animal fucking <laughs> swim at you at 60 miles per hour and shit trying to figure oh, out who cool. you are i love when they say shark infested yeah. waters it's like no it's not an infestation they live there yeah <laughs> they ain't going nowhere else yeah. <laughs> you're invading their, their privacy the they only was, spot they could be at. They unless they've taken up the sides of like water being its own thing it's um like if water's just water and all look at all these sharks <laughs> I actually saw a video of that <laughs> like maybe a week ago or at the beginning of this week. It was these two girls. They were um they were like at the at the beach mm-hmm. and they were swimming, but they were having the time of their lives. One of them was mm-hmm. just like floating, the other one was like laying on one of the little floaties, the yeah, little yeah. round floaties. Yeah, yeah. And there was like a hammerhead shark, like sort sur- uh, like almost circling them, but like also going like in- it went under them because you could see because the dude was recording from the hotel. Yeah. So you could see the shadow of the and and like they were saying the thing that saved them was that they didn't know it was there. Because if they start panicking, that's when they and then that's it. when the shark's like, all right. But since they were just there, I guess the shark just saw, it was like, oh, it's not food or anything. So they, it went on its way. But if they would have, like, seen it, 
Cause, and like started panicking, that would have been it for him. That would have been the last thing I touched. Well, I <laughs> touched I any been, water. Not I'd have saw that video and shot at the water a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know who you messing with? <laughs> Jeep baby, <laughs> Maywood's finest. <laughs> Ain't nowhere in the world, bro. Um, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. With the ocean, the ocean is just like like I can it's do, too it's too unknown. Like bro, yeah. I went on a cruise last year or two, two years ago at this point. Oh, you see that? Cruise, and, and bro, like when you get, you get, cause I like, I was sitting on the um, like the, it was the like the balcony to like your room, so I was sitting out there and up falling asleep. Woke up, it's just dark, so no, it's like we're in the no. middle of the ocean. So it's no just, lights. It's just the blackness. Rico, yeah. I had to light the ship up with all this expensive gold and jewelry <laughs> on me, you know? bro. So it's, it's just like knowing that, like, if somebody mess up and like you're not getting found. No, oh, yeah, you in the it. middle of Nathaniel. It's you over with. You trip. can't swim. It was that one dude swam all the way around uh, Europe or something. Yeah, it was, oh, man, I remember that. Yeah. He was messed up after that. The it, whole body broke down, bro. Yeah. It was like he got stung like nine hundred times by like the horse. All yeah. of it, bro. His skin was falling off and shit. It was crazy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Wouldn't that shout ha- out him though? Yeah, shout and out. Then him. if you're in the ocean, it's salt water, so you can't even drink it. Nope. You're gonna go crazy. You're gonna <laughs> you die. Yeah. You're gonna go crazy. Yeah, you. Gonna- and you, 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 you gonna probably dehydrate. You dehydrate you. yourself because it dries out your skin. Yeah. Well, you can't just be floating in the middle of the ocean. Like at some point, you are gonna fall asleep. Yeah. That's it. It's over. Yeah. Finito. Uh, what next? What, what else we got? Uh, y'all want to jump into? Let's get a little serious. Oh wait, wait, real quick before we get serious. Speaking of Bezos, I was working for Bezos. Oh yeah. Today. Ah. Bezos. I was out there delivering, and I saw you working a nine to five, brother. <sighs> can't. I wish Bezos would tell me he my boss. <laughs> nah, not me. Never me. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's a race. What, what were Dame Dash? <laughs> they didn't give me my fair shot. Uh, but I was delivering, and I, I delivered to this one house, and they had two pickup trucks. And the stickers on the back of the truck said, Trump 2024, uh. take America back. Uh. Are we at war? Like, we, we are. Back, take, take it back? <laughs> Americans won the election. Yeah. There's nobody, no, there's no militant. I, I'm not shocked because when Trump got into office, that was like the first time in my life that I thought I could be a slave. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even lying. Like I was. That was a legitimate. Like, <laughs> wait a minute. Like, Bush damn. was bad, but he wasn't. I yeah. didn't feel chains and whips with him. Bro, this, like, I felt it. I was like, wait. Like, yeah, like, like there's they, a possibility you're like, that slavery the back. could be a thing in the future. <laughs> I wasn't talking about four years or eight years. Gonna but he was going to start a dangerous <laughs> thing. Nah. Well, <laughs> according to science, since 2040, white people will be the minority. Well, mm-hmm. that's what they say. So get your so white 20 years away. Yeah, we got 20 years. And, and he'd have had eight of them. So by 14, we'd have probably been in chains. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. We was canes. No, we weren't. We was going to. The Stop debt it. is the debt to China is ridiculous. So all black people report to China <laughs> <laughs> for free ice cream sandwiches <laughs> and a pizza party. I'm going to be shit. What kind of pizza you got? <laughs> but no. Yeah. So I saw that. I, I kind of laughed because I'm sitting there like, take it back. Like, bro, we're not at war. Take it back from the Democrats. <laughs> I guess from we the should Demo vote rats. independent. But it it's, 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 it sounded it sounded like a war cry, and I was a little nervous. I'm like, let me go ahead and get out of this yeah. neighborhood. You know? I'll just leave it at the edge. <laughs> Rico, I actually threw the package. Rico was like, this don't look that important. They can probably wait for another driver. <laughs> 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 yeah, they went home. I know you checked in. Yeah, they went. They, they went no. They were they, they they took a picture of you. I don't know where they got that picture. Yeah, the ring. No, they yeah, took the ring. <laughs> well, they took that picture without my consent, <laughs> and so. So I feel threatened that they now know my identity. So now I own the house. <laughs> I, had to, I had to pull that out of the job one time. Really? Yeah, some dude's wife started recording me, and I was like mid telling his ass off. And I was, excuse me, you don't have my consent. Now I can get on the phone and get your ass locked up. <laughs> and she <laughs> that phone super quick. Know your rights. Know your rights. Know your rights, people. Uh, but on the serious note, what we got, big dog? Uh, we can talk about some COVID stuff. Talking right. about mm. uh, put the mask back on. We told y'all. Back again. We right. told y'all three episodes ago. Y'all didn't listen. We told y'all. We tr- the, the Friendly yeah. Fire podcast tried to warn it's the y'all. The remix to COVID, man. and y'all didn't listen. The Gamma virus yeah. and the Delta variant. They are here stepping. Mm. <laughs> it's the Cue the, the atomic dog. <laughs> <laughs> they are here trying to take us down. And uh, they saying a lot of people who, because I remember we had a conversation in the group chat about whether or not we was going to get vaccinated again. And I was saying, with these these variants, they saying that, like, people who haven't got, it's hitting them hard. Damn. And so, like, I don't I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm leaning more towards getting it. I don't know when I'll get it. It'll probably be sooner rather than later. But please be careful, y'all. Do y'all bet. It, obviously, y'all yeah. grown. Y'all going to do what y'all want to do. But these viruses are re- real. Whatever y'all want to believe, 
believe that, but yeah. believe that these viruses are coming, all right? Yeah. Or here. I'm already vaccinated. I only got vaccinated because I'm going to Mexico. Yeah, yeah. And, like, that way I wouldn't have to take the test on the way back. Uh -huh. But now they added. They used to have to get tested before you come back. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, fuck, I got to drop, like, 200 bucks to get tested in Mexico. Because that's just expensive as fuck yeah. over there. There's, like, no, there's no free testing over there. Yeah. So it's like, They're going to find a way to get some money out of y'all regardless. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just don't know, what man. I... I'm so nervous about it, but then it's like, man, I would hate to be that dude that's like, oh, yeah. He's he, the one that, yeah. yeah. They're like, so, I mean, I kind of, I'm probably going to get it sooner than later. It ain't started affecting no money yet, but it's just a lot of the health history that's going on. I'm yeah. like, I'd rather just play it safe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I take, like, cause that, like, they said the virus, I mean, not the virus, the vaccine only took, like, my homie said it took them down, like, a day they were down like a day after they mm. took it and then they would say they were fine couldn't be me because like Lori <laughs> right was saying mm -hmm. that that you have to bring your covid card to get into lala as big as that hole I, is? I, I don't know how they how, one that the line's already i've gone i've gone what three four years yeah and the line's already ridiculous to be with you're you're in that line at least an hour mm -hmm. sometimes too depending what time you get there yeah just to get in now with the cold that, that's a power four hour line you better look yeah. cheap in the prices or yeah. something so, so i'm gonna have to change this like that that list wasn't the best this year either for yeah. lala so like it may be a yeah, little bit they, they may they may have they may like ease up a little bit i'm not they sure they just tried to rush it too much don't nobody really want to do that right now yeah like I, the world just opened up we're not trying to go out here and concert this like we still I mean, gotta you know i mean they we, need the money because i mean rolling loud is this week it's happening as we're speaking yeah and that shit's packed i mean but at least like, from the videos I've seen. but i mean that's all that's always gonna be a thing but is it worth it yeah it's you true. see that, what i'm saying that's one of those like you gotta answer that question for yourself that's it and you i don't blame anybody that says yeah yeah I mean, that's your life but. some people like literally was going nuts i didn't trip being inside <laughs> the, the worst thing to me is that i gained weight i love like, myself I, <laughs> I i enjoyed being inside and being like around my family and being like to myself. COVID is very nice. COVID was, was, COVID was, was nice. Well, no, it wasn't nice. It wasn't but, nice. I got what uh, you said. The like, experience, like, the experience of nice. being like, okay, I don't have to really interact with the nobody. Unemployment check that was, was Them hoes was nice. I didn't want to go back to work. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're getting us prepared for that fallout show. Facts, like, I'm worried. <laughs> That's what they're doing. <laughs> or when they, because yeah, when they drop the bombs and blow this bitch up, when they up in space, <laughs> you're going to be in the house a lot. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm working, I'm making less. I'm making like half less yeah. for working. My pop, I, I was yeah. like, these unemployment folks, they didn't, they didn't look at my pay stubs because they paid me double this yeah, bitch. Yeah, mine was sweet. I was like, I'm cool. On I that. was chilling. But I mean, be safe to anybody listening. Please just be safe. Whatever y'all decide yeah. to do, just do your best to be safe and protect you and yours. Because I would hate to be that one person. Because it was even like Fox anchors that was talking about like the hoax and everything. Turned out them niggas was vaccinated. Did all of that Yo, and, and was vaccinated. I mean, Trump is vaccinated. I don't I think he's trying to push a vaccine. That's that slavery vaccine. Don't go get it, people. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get you a koofy just to wear whenever you have to. I'm going to go break out one of mine for the episode. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, man, I, I don't, I don't, I'm don't. i curious because it's like with with the way that COVID is hitting, because COVID, like we talked previously, COVID was hitting to uh, hit the uh, Olympics hard. Can't have no fans now. Yeah. They were so geeked about being able to do everything again. Shut all of that down. It's just you just competing. Yeah. And then it, it sent a few players home uh, for for USA basketball. It was starting to uh, it's affecting the NFL. Yeah, the coach he stepped down. Yeah. He's like I don't want it. NFL. The NFL said flat out, if you break COVID protocols and you're not vaccinated, I think they said it's like a fifteen thousand dollar fine, like yeah, off rip. Yeah, yeah, and then they were saying if you don't get vaccinated, you might want to step down. Like you said, the coach stepped down. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, who's a wide receiver for the Arizona Cardinals, for those who don't know, he's one of the best wide receivers in the league, and he yeah. said. His biggest fear is costing his team because he doesn't want to get vaccinated. Right. He's nervous about the vaccination. So he might just be like, I'm, I'm through. So it's a whole, it's like a <laughs> it's whole a thing bunch now. of, it's a bunch of variables going by. So you talking about affecting money. That's affecting money. I'm, I was just waiting for the FDA approved. Like my family, that's what we was waiting on. Mm -hmm. Like, I, don't blame me for wanting it to be that. To, it, to but, be careful. I, but I mean, shit, <laughs> it, don't, it don't look like it's coming anytime nah. soon. So. Nah. Cause what? Cause then everybody argument. Oh well, y'all was waiting for the FDA approval. Vitamins aren't FDA. Approved. I was literally about to say that. I just saw that the other day. So it's like, I, was like, I guess I take my vitamins every day. So it's yeah. one of them things where it's like, I, you pick you, your poison. The, the you pick your poison. The you Flintstones just, haven't let me down at yet. all. At all. Yeah, but strong <laughs> and healthy. Yes. that grape one was hidden. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, man, just be safe. Do uh, obviously y'all gonna make y'all own decisions. Just look out for each other. Look out yeah. for yourselves. Yeah. What else we got? Invest in the hood. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, that's okay. your community. Lord have mercy. So for those who haven't seen, there's been a, a, a realtor or a house flipper who went viral. Is he from Chicago or no? 
I think so, I think yeah. So a Chicago realtor house flip or whatever you want to call mm-hmm. him went viral on Twitter because he was talking about investing in the hood and talking about how, you know, everybody says, Everybody oh, get money and leave and this, that, and bro. You don't and got so, $300,000 just laying exactly. around? Exactly. <laughs> but see, what happened was he was, he was talking about, oh, yeah, I was in this neighborhood. I turned this house into this. And everybody was like, oh, that's great. And then they was like, well, how much does it cost? Man, it's flipped it for like. Ten times as much. Facts. So because he said he bought it, I, I forgot the number. But it, it was like eighty k or sixty k. It was a bando. It was a bando. He yeah. flipped into something. And nice. like eighty k, sixty k in Chicago, that's cheap as fuck. But then they like, he flipped it for like I think six hundred k almost. Yeah. So it's like you're coming up. I think his thing was invest in the hood, not from a community point, but invest in the hood because money. you can get bread. Yeah. That's what I took it as. And but, so people was trying to say so so folks was. They were crying gentrification. Mm-hmm. And then folks were saying, well, gentrification only applies to white people. No, it, it does not. Right. Because Gen- the people ahead. who are going to buy said house are going to be white people. Even though the guy who, who is going to make the money is a black man, the, the white people are eventually the ones going to move in because they're the ones who can afford said, so, said yeah. money. Or it'll be well or off you know, minority people, but then that ups the rent for everybody in the yeah. surrounding area. So now you can't afford to live in your shack of a house <laughs> because you got a, a MTV Cribs right next yeah. door to you. A perfect example is Bezos. Like, he, him and the Amazon, you notice, they put them Amazons in them poor, defenseless-ass areas, yeah. and they grow up. Mm-hmm. Melrose Park got a Raisin Canes, a Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? Literally, as soon as you see a Starbucks in your it's, hood, it's, it's over. over. It's, over. <laughs> it's, over. it's no longer a hood. Bro, we once had I, a Chick fil A for like four years, bro. First one in Melrose Park. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we got a Starbucks, a Raisin, Raisin Canes. Canes. Baker Square been a staple. They gone. Dang. They gone. Gone. We got an export, bro. It's prime real estate. Yeah. That's going to fa- affect this episode. It's going to go to Bellwood. It's going to come Maywood. Once I saw Bellwood is building a, a, a shopping center on 25th. It's going to come there. One of these abandoned yeah. ass factories, that's going to be Maywood. That's yeah. going to be an Amazon yeah. joint. Once I saw Pilsen have rooftop bars, I was like, oh, shit's over yeah, with for yeah, Pilsen. Yeah. Bro, Cicero <laughs> got their own little Amazon, like, Yeah, hub yeah, going right, on the, right on the edge. They, yeah. they, they finna build up. So, like, y'all, you got to notice the signs of justification. It's not just big houses. Like you said, it's factories. When the JJ's goes for Buffalo Wild Wings, y'all ass need to start moving. <laughs> y'all need to start moving. And we're going to miss everybody. <laughs> we're going to miss everybody. It's, 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 it's over with after that. Yes. It's, and it sucks because it's like, yes, it makes your area look nice. It makes what you would like for your home to be. But then you're looking at your bills like, I can't afford to even live yeah. here anymore. See, I the, can't even benefit on the new restaurants in the area. And, and the helping the community part comes from the, hey, they live in this beat down ass house. I'm a... Work with them, rebuild it, and they keep it. Mm-hmm. Cause now this neighborhood looks a lot nicer because this raggedy ass house ain't here. Mm-hmm. That's helping the community. You don't like buy an abandoned house and upscale it. I mean, that's what you do. But if you're trying to help the community, you buy it and rent it to yeah. what the market is. Be real with yourself. Just be don't, real with the community. Cause, cause with that, the community. Cause that's what blew me was he was like, oh, we, we can build it and upscale our communities. You sell the community you're, you're in. Can't afford yeah. a six hundred thousand dollar because then this condo it yeah. wouldn't look like this if they could. X. You like, see what like, I'm saying? Like the like the six hundred k would have would have gone better into a community center or like some clubs or yeah. like uh, like maybe a club where like you guys go on field trips every weekend something or something. Yeah, yeah they, like don't like it, uh, it. It irks me so much because it's like you see the signs of like they had started trying to do it a little bit in the Bellwood area with some houses behind like the Dunkin' Donuts and they didn't really spread out. They kind of just stayed in that like one, I don't know what happened, they just kind of stayed. Yeah. But you see it like over like around the parks, like the look, uh-huh. they starting to like clean the parks out. They putting stuff uh-huh. up, they 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 uh, redoing like the pavements and stuff. They trying to make it. Because they when that stuff starts happening, it's because it's like who goes to playgrounds? Like white people go to playgrounds for the equipment. They don't go for the basketball ring. Nah. They got gyms and schools that they can do. They don't play street ball like that. Mm-hmm. When that starts getting fixed, and then you start, oh, what's the restaurants around here? Like white people go to Chick Fil A. Yes. They are not going to JJ's. Mm-hmm. When that starts coming, you're gonna see the oh, here's the Jewels, here's the Mariano's, here's it. Mm-hmm. We can't really afford to blow. Fifty dollars on two steaks. Yeah. If they you put a Mariano's so in that Bellwood shopping center, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my mind. Yeah, they'll put a Whole Foods in that. Bitch. Oh lord, mess. <laughs> 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 oh, man. but it's it, it's one of those things where it's like because like the proper way is like what Hillside did. Yeah. Hillside just put a shopping center in an abandoned area. It was nothing. Yeah. It was a land. It was a landfill over yeah. there. Yeah. So they was like, okay, we'll just clear this out and make it where folks can go shop. Yeah. They ain't jack nothing and up. It, it, they ain't it, kick like, nobody out. Yeah, like that Hillside area is like prime time because it's right next to 290. Yes. Yeah. So it's like, all right, it's it's mainly for people 
not for the community, but for people who are literally driving down 290 and it's like, fuck, I need something from Target. Or like, damn, you want to get some like wings real quick from Wingstop, yeah, or you want to yeah. get some Pan Express from yeah. there. Or it's right IHOP, it's like, breakfast, it's a hotel. Right yeah, there's yeah, a hotel yeah, right yeah. there, right? right there. Gas We're close station. enough to O'Hare where like someone could stay at that spot, hotel. Yeah. Yeah. The closest so, mall, what, Oak Brook, 10 minutes yeah. from there? Yeah. You see what I'm so saying? So it's like, like a little... Without kicking people yeah, out. Yeah, it's like a little pit stop, more so than that. But Like the Oasis. Like, oh, let me just stop here, load up on some pizza, some gas, and this, and we can keep yeah. going. Okay, as, that's what as long as, like, Cicero, uh, Cicero Cermak, that Aldi stage right there, I think we're safe. Once they get rid of that Aldi right there, that then, then they yeah. were like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I think going it's going to happen sooner than later. Okay, though. fellow scenario then. You guys are both house flippers or real estate, whatever. Now, yeah. you got to be about your money, yeah. but you still about your communities. What do you guys think is the best way to go about it? From Like, if y'all was, okay, I got 300K to tear this hole down and build it back up. Right. What what does that look like for y'all? Like and, and to make the housing available to where you're not kicking out grandma from her house she ain't had for 75 years. If depending on what you're gonna flip it for. Because if you've gonna because just say I'm gonna flip it for four hundred. Mm -hmm. Like if I have the money, I say, yo, I'm gonna take a quarter of this and buy them out the house. That's what you do with that. Like you either gonna like move and let me get the crib or work with me so I can build it mm -hmm. but that's what most of them do like a lot of them just be like hey we want your house it's on prime real estate here's two hundred fifty thousand dollars that's when they oh they're not going we don't want it we love the community that's when they buy the next door house and now your property tax is ridiculous they give they always give you a shot mm -hmm. and they want you to move out the neighborhood so when you don't that's when the community on the inside has to work together we need to make this area look a little bit better so we can get more people to come mm -hmm. or our people will want to stay we have to keep it nice yeah. but yeah. if come somebody come to buy this house right now for three hundred thousand, more than likely i'm gone <laughs> yeah. so that check signed you yeah. know what i'm saying like i'm not the community guy like yeah. that yeah. but i mean that's just what it is as a person you can't be in that and not try to get money yeah. unless you like the little dope boy because that's who he is like i know the people in this community and you see it where you'll be on a block and the cops never come there, but everybody's rent's always paid. Everybody got groceries and everything. I run this block. Yeah. Any problems go through me. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a community. It might not look the best, but that's a community. When you get people coming in and out and you have three white families here and four Mexicans there and a black, that's a community. But when you have one of something, that's considered the ghetto in the hood. So it's by yeah. lower standards. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just said a lot of bullshit. No, you but didn't. it was yeah. like I, it, But yeah. it's just like you can't like it's almost impossible to be in that house flipper game because and try to be for the people. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. I I feel you, like you, gotta, you, you gotta Because you're taking to too much of a loss. Go ahead, Zip, uh, go unless ahead. you're trying to cause like um before me and my family got a got a house this last year, um well, Zoo I, dropped I it in cash. No. Just in walked cash. up with the wad, smacked no, the real no, in the no, face no, with no, it. No, no, no. He was, said cash is too bulky. Give me the rubies and the emeralds. <laughs> Bam, here you go. <laughs> I was like, I was like 50 cent. We bought the Mercedes through the duffel bag. At it. <laughs> he was damn. Nah. This a Jansport? Uh, it, it was an angelic sound when he dropped it. It was like there you go. And then he dropped it, and the money just kind of sprinkled out. <laughs> no, yeah. when uh, like, well, before we, I was trying to convince him to stay because me and my family we like staying and we used to live in Cicero. And we love, like, because it's all Mexicans, all, like, uh, the corner stores literally on the corner. Yeah. And, like, and you got everything. It's, like, so convenient there. And, like, everybody, like, we didn't have to fear for, like, quote-unquote racism. Because where we moved, it's predominantly white. So the first thing we were scared of is, like, we like to throw parties. But we're like, fuck, we're not trying to play our music. And then have the cops called on us once yeah. or twice. Luckily, when we, we didn't know, obviously, after we bought the, the spot, our neighbors on, on the right, are, I think, we're think we think they're Puerto Rican. They're Latinos, and then the, our neighbors on the left are Mexican, and then our neighbor across the street, I think, is like Argentinian or something. Oh, so right. it, it worked out yeah. splendidly. Thank God. Uh, and, and I think like two doors down, there's like uh, the two houses there are, are by black folks. So I think we're like the only block that is like somewhat minority because I walked to the other block and it's like, just white people. <laughs> but like, um, yes. hello, Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of worked out, but. Uh, Hola. <laughs> my, my grass was just cut. Like, I, 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 no, no mas, no mas. <laughs> but before that, I was trying to convince him to stay there and, like, to buy uh, an apartment complex. And then we could, like, stay. Because, I mean, we lived in an apartment 
literally our whole life, like my whole right. life, I was mm-hmm. in an apartment. Yeah. So I was like, we could make this. We could get in a little a small apartment, like three story apartment complex. We could still stay together in one, or if we want to be a little bit more separated. We could stay in two, and then yeah. we could rent out the last one. Yeah, yeah. But obviously, we're not gonna charge them because we're staying here too. Yeah. Right. So we'll we'll give them an affordable rent. Yeah. What well, we right. would be paying for ours. Mm-hmm. So it's like we just split it evenly, and now that that way. So now it's owned by Mexican uh, yeah. Mexican family, right. and we're allowing another Mexican family to also stay or Latino, right. and, and and we could stay together. That's and how that, you're that, that's to how do. you could also. That's how you're but, oh, we eventually didn't end up doing that, obviously. But is that, that something that's you still I think want. you would want to do potentially? Yeah. But no, but the Latins, I got to give them that. They're very community and people oh, yeah, oriented. Sure. Because you be like, oh, this, that, and the other. There's got 17 people in here and this, that, and the other. But it's like, bro, they, all of them got money and all of them. They all know, fed. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They, they make all sure they good, eat. you yeah. know? Y'all be buying like 80 pounds of steak taco meat Facts. every other week. My bro. girl just texted me was like, yeah, we having a, a barbecue at my house. I'm like, y'all was just out there. We, yeah. we having a barbecue at my house. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's what my my uncle, That's like he he's like, it's like 50 degrees, barbecue weather. Let's go. Literally, so it's, it's like, like shit. If I got a taste for barbecue, it's barbecue weather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he'll invite everybody over. He'll invite the neighbors over. He invites her because, like I said, like in Cicero, if you drive on a Friday or a Saturday night, every single house the music is blasting. Mm-hmm. It's like everyone has different tastes in music, but blasting. Over in my neighborhood now, where I stay, I think it's just us who has music blasting, or like we think they're Puerto Rican. <laughs> Their neighbor, <laughs> they play, they blast music throughout the day, but yeah. at night they they turn it down. And our neighbor on the left, I think he's the one who throws the most parties. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, but they're like legit parties where like it's like bouncy houses and stuff because he has like, uh, kids. Okay, yeah. But like our, us, like every, or, like I wouldn't say every weekend, but I say every other weekend, we do have like people over and we do have our, a big ass speaker system where it's blasting. And we do try to be <laughs> we do try to be mindful. Then like around ten, all right, like we're not in our old neighborhood yeah. where it could be three a.m. and every single house is still my neighbor. Up. My neighbors but, will, will literally. Be playing, and I don't mind it because obviously yeah. I grew up, so I I used to it. We'll be playing till like five a.m. Yeah, so we try to be mindful, like obviously because we're not in our old neighborhood, but still, it's like something we we were scared of at first yeah. when we moved out. Which is, like, it's, a, it's a concern. Which is, that's definitely yeah. a concern on some uh, what was it, raising in the sun type yeah, stuff. It's like yeah. you in an area that you're not familiar with with people who don't look like you. Yeah. yeah. So well, luckily you found your little community within yeah. that community though, so that's good because like it's it's just one of those things where it's like. You get the you get like so like rappers like the Nipsey Hustles and now Jay Z more or less. They talk always talk about investing and giving back to the community. But then it's like when you hear people say that and then you see what they actually end up doing, it's like you didn't care about the community. No, at yeah. all. So it was like you were just in it for and it's my thing is be real about what your thing. You flipping the houses so you can make some money. It's not like it's yeah. not gonna sell. If anybody it's, gotta tell you their intentions, it's not their real intention. You don't think so? No, because if you could be like, oh yeah, man, I'm gonna do this. And more, I mean, not all the time, mm-hmm. but especially when you're dealing with like a big, like, not when it's just me, hey, I'm gonna do this, and, you know, it's not the kindness of my yeah. heart or something, but, like, even when Jay-Z was like, oh, I'm finna buy into the NFL, and I'm gonna be this, that, and other, and it was like, yeah. everybody's like, oh, he's gonna make it pro-black, and then and he didn't do none of that, yeah. and he's like, I'm just like, that's this, really like, that was my, re- my real intention was to get some money, mm-hmm. but I know by, yeah. so he seduced it, the art of seduction, I read it, he yes. seduced everybody, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, that's what you get, yeah. and it's like, oh, man, even even Obama, great president, great guy, but he, oh, I'm finna do this, and that, and that. Like, yeah, what did we benefit it. from, he didn't do shit, yeah. Like, that first election, he kind of sort of got in because he was black. No, he definitely did. The second one, he earned. But the first one, it was just like because he was black. Yeah, because a lot of people was like, they said Mitt Romney like legit had a chance that second he time. Did, yeah, it was so, like, yeah. But so, yeah, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. Like like I said, um, for those who decide to give back to their communities, do it for the right reasons. Yeah. Like, don't, at the very least, don't say. Don't mess with people's houses. Just like open a store or something or. Yeah. Do something like the house is when it gets difficult. But don't say you're gonna build up your community. But when you say build up, you just mean kick everybody out. Yeah, you just mean no charging. Yeah, it's <laughs> like you don't. Come on, now. Like, like, like who are you building the community for? Yeah, the people or the ones the who can afford yeah. have a much. Because like you right. said, and, and grandma lived there for seventy years, and now like maybe she owns the house. But you still gotta pay property taxes every year. Maybe she makes enough off social security, off benefits, where yeah. she could pay the two thousand dollar of of. Uh, of property tax but comfortably, then, you, but now, like monopoly, right? yeah, but now there's a nice ass house. So now property tax is like, oh, the uh, the value went up to four thousand a year. Now it's like, damn. The ne- a couple years from now, it's like six thousand. Like now I can't afford it. Now I can't even pass the house down to my family. And now it's like another it, it another family. It, gets, it yeah. definitely goes deep. Mm-hmm. So That's and wild. I mean, the, the last thing touching on that, 
which we could transition to the next. Uh, Ooh, uh, Giannis, oh, yeah. Shady. <laughs> now, now we're on the CD. Damn. But yeah, like uh, with Kanye, he they just announced a couple of days ago that they approved. Uh, a couple of years ago, he tweeted, "I'm gonna buy the Regal Theater and we're gonna renovate it so we could bring back uh, the comedy uh, scene that they that used to be prominent there." Okay. Yeah. And they just approved uh, all the renovations. That's like, what's up. The city just approved everything. That's so now they're, they're going to start working on it. They went that. to the release party, and they was like, yeah, he going to do yeah, it. Yeah, he going to do it. <laughs> He'll do it now. Believe I believe in him now. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, so, I, yeah, that's dope, though. That's yeah, because, that's definitely dope. It's because, like, people need that shine. Like, to give people that, that chance to follow their dreams. Yeah. He's, he's, he's had his chance. Now he's giving back. Yeah, so, that's truly giving that's back. Dope. Regal Theater, coming soon. Rico Theater? Regal. Regal Theater. Regal. Okay, I'm about to say, let me go ahead and slide uh, over. Oh, no, like, no, who? Like, <laughs> Who's Rico? <laughs> this is my man X to the Z, Xavier. <laughs> That's who that is. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, so speaking of your boy Kanye, yeah. Yeezy, Because uh, he's been wanting it. Go he ahead, uh, unleash your tape, oh, bro. Go ahead, bro. Well, I was a happy man at the beginning of the week. <laughs> now I'm... Uh, I'm Depression. Opti- no, now I'm optimistic because I was like down in the dumps. You went from happy to optimistic. Yeah, that <laughs> man went through all five stages. I did. Of, the, of sure. emotions. So I don't know where Mr. Uh, Rico's favorite personality, uh, Justin Leboy. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I still don't know. Who I that hate is. that nigga. So I don't even know him, but I hate him. I'm real quick, real quick. You respectfully I, I don't, hate him. Yeah, respectfully hate him. I don't truly. Obviously, I don't really hate dislike. anybody. Dislike. But dislike. He, it's he a strong is, dislike. He is, he's annoying because he has like besides when he's tweeting about Kanye. He has some of the lamest, like, life quotes, and then he ends it with respectfully. And then everybody be like, nigga, shut up. Stop <laughs> tweeting. Stop posting. Stop commenting on the people's IG. Just stop. And then all of a sudden, he's the insider to everything Kanye Omari West. Yeah. I don't know how we got I to this point either. in life where Justin LeBoy yeah. is, is Kanye's ins- of all people. He's his ins- Not Pusha T. Someone tweeted literally yesterday. Not Big Sean. Uh, they, they said, I miss when Kim K was his spokesperson because... <laughs> Like, kiss it. Oh, yeah. Kanye said he's going to drop at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. That's why he's standing out on the ocean. Hashtag respectfully. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Justin. Fact. Jesus. So now, continue. Someone said I heard they hate him because he turned, like, respectfully. It's like a positive term. Yeah. He turned into, a, like, an insult. Because, yeah. you know, now, now when you say, with all due respect or respectfully, it's, thing, like, yeah. it's like, all right, you're dissing me. You're shading me. Yes. So it was one of those. But, all right, go back to Kanye. I don't know where uh, Mr. LeBoy uh tweeted oh Kanye's about to drop the greatest album of all time 30 years ahead of time and all that oh, and there was know. a time limit for the greatest yeah, I, 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 I didn't I was, know like, I didn't know that but go yeah, ahead I thought it had well, already been dropped <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he's like, he's like it's coming out uh, this week and everyone's like, uh, even Rico was like, how credible is this man? And I was like, I mean, there's pictures of him and Kanye together, like in in like a little session. And I was instantly and like, was they in the vicinity or yeah, were they huddle. together? Yeah, like, no, like, I mean, he was on the couch with him, so I mean, that's close uh, enough. Couch for me. is pretty close. Yeah. Kanye yeah. had the mask on, was sleep the whole time. K- 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 that mask is dope. That mask is ridiculous. He should have put the Spider Man lenses in it, like <laughs> under it, when but he... no, like under it, so that way you wouldn't see his eyeballs, but you would see like the mask, yeah. like the Rorschach mask yeah, from Watchmen. That'd have been dope. So so I mean. Obviously, you know, everyone in the Kanye community went crazy, but then we were like, Yes, y'all. We, we've been through this, <laughs> we've been through this dance many a times. And y'all fall for so it every I, time. I, I, was, I was, at first, I was on the fence. I was excited, obviously, but I was on the fence. I was like, oh, I mean, it's just Justin the boy. Then out of nowhere, Live Nation just goes like, um, Listening party today, uh, Las Vegas. And I was like, hmm. So and you quit the job. I, I almost bought did. some new headphones. It was like, <laughs> oh, I'm finna tune he in. You almost flew to Las Vegas. <laughs> So then Las Vegas happened and like uh, I, they confiscated phones at the door. So nothing really came out. But they were like, it did happen. And, it's, and like everyone was tweeting like this person's out loud, this person's out loud. So I'm like, oh shit, he's not just going to do a listening. If he does a listening party for his friends, then I'm not believing it. For the fans, yeah, I'm like, like, all right, oh, now peak coming. interest. And a day, that was like at a, Atlanta. That was like, yeah, that was like <laughs> a Monday or Tuesday. And then, then out of nowhere, once again, Live Nation's like tickets on sale for, uh, they just put a listening party uh, at the Mercedes Benz, I was like, "There's only two people for a listening party that could fill that place up, or three people. That's like Beyonce, Drake, and, and Kanye. corrupt." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you was waiting for that. <laughs> yeah, he was waiting on me. To get 
<laughs> like Beyonce, Drake, or Kanye. And since it was Kanye talk, we we're like, oh shit. And then it happened. Yeah. And like it, it was live on Apple, and which, we all got which to was dope. That, that was, was dope. dope. That yeah. was cool. I, was I still I didn't check out none of it because y'all were giving me live play yeah, by play. Play by play. We, we were all witnessing. I live. actually tuned in. I didn't think I was I was I was going to tune in to troll initially. Yeah. Because I just like messing with you. When but them songs the was hitting. The, them hoes was nice. Yeah. I will not lie. Uh, See, was I'm about to drive down there right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I not to Atlanta, but then they announced. That he was gonna perform live at Rolling Loud on Sunday. This really? was, this was oh, on yeah, Wednesday. That's when he was in like. Oh yeah, and yeah. And then I was like, no, fuck it, I'm gonna go. You yeah. know, cause my and but then I was looking at tickets. Them bitches went from thirty bucks <laughs> last year to four hundred now. I was like, damn, Super. I guess I'm not gonna go because four hundred for that, four hundred for the Rolling Loud ticket. Now nah, nah, I was like, nah, I'm cool. I'll just wait. He, like hopefully he comes like was, on tour. Does he do a? I'm surprised he don't do a Chicago listening party. Uh, he did one for Jesus is King. True. So uh, I even texted my friend Gabe. Shout out to Gabe. Uh, he listens to the pod and all that. Shout um, out, Gabe. He, Shout out, uh, he, I even texted him because he, he's the one who got me to. He went to a listening party for Jesus King, and me and him went to one of the Sunday services together. So I was mm-hmm. like, if you get tickets, get one for me. Vice versa, if I get tickets, I'll get one for you. You know, yeah. soft strength. And then, uh, but yeah, and I was looking at, it, I was like, fuck. And I, I, I even put on Facebook like, yo, selling these bad bunny tickets <laughs> for a stack, <laughs> like so I could get this. And one of my homies texting me, he's like, nah, bro, you don't gotta do all that. I'm going to Rolling Loud, but we're driving. Uh, it, but we, we're leaving on Thursday. Me and my homie are driving. Like you could come with us, and like so, like we'll just charge you gas money, mm-hmm. and then I could get you a ticket for rolling out for two hundred once we're there. Cause he's like, I, he, he goes every year, ah, okay. so he knows that on day of, people just want to get their money back. The, scal- yeah. the scalpers, yeah, yeah. so they'll sell it to you for a hundred, two hundred. Yeah. So okay. he's like, we can just go down there, and you'll get a ticket down there. And I was like, fuck it. But unfortunately, I picked up some shifts like before this happened, and and money gotta get made. And yeah, yeah. and I was in like damn, calling off a whole weekend. I was like, I'm gonna come back to no job, <laughs> no money. That's crazy. Like, off for Kanye. So I, didn't, I didn't do it, which now happily, thankfully, I didn't do it because he he backed out just yesterday. Uh, they announced he backed out of the Rolling Loud. It was supposed to be on Sunday. Mm-hmm. He backed out, and now uh, the, the album, <laughs> the, the album, slow down. yeah, the album, album got pushed back out. to August six. According to Mr. LeBoy. We'll see. Because the next day, Vu was, dear, yay, I wrote you, but you still ain't <laughs> dropped it. I was upset. <laughs> I was so upset. <laughs> I ain't going to hold you, though. The, well, the, I'm excited for it, One though. of the I theories wanna, I wanna hear it. was is that he saw the reaction for the Jay-Z. When I heard Jay-Z's voice, at first I was like, please don't let this shit be a sample. Because, you know, Kanye is right. the type that, yeah. that he'll sample a Jay-Z voice yeah. and just, like, add it on the track. But no, he gave us a verse, and the internet fucking exploded. They said he recorded it like 4.30 that yeah, afternoon. Yeah, that day. So. He had two chains in the back. Fucking in the two chains. Was what, what rhymes was different? <laughs> <laughs> I'm different. I'm, I'm different. I'll say it in a different tone. But yeah, so like he's, they say he is like actively yeah. still working on this yeah. thing. Uh, and, and so the rumor was that he saw the, the hype for Watch the Throne, and even Jay-Z on his verse said this might be the return of the throne. And, and then they were just like, Fuck it, let's just do an album together. That was the rumor. I highly doubt that. I don't do another a throne? No, I, I think they'll do one, but just not like for this August 6th yeah, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Um, you know so how much writing they would have to do in, in It's probably already wrote. Weeks. I think they wrote it, and he I mean, was Jay-Z, like, yo, yo, ass kind of tripping right now. We'll yeah. Jay-Z's the type, he, he, I mean, he's one take hove. I, I could. I have faith in that he could do an album in a I, I don't think he would like to put it out because, yeah. you know, he, I, he likes to, especially with 444, and his last features have been like up to, like, Excellent yeah. par. Yeah, I wouldn't think he want to mess that up, especially like so late in his career. Yeah, because um, then it's one like, okay, you fifty something, you can kind of stop. But yeah, he didn't do it. Stuff, but yeah. what gives me optimism that he will drop it on August sixth is that he's still residing in Mercedes Benz. You know how much stadium. You know how hey. much impact you gotta have and to I was live thinking, in a stadium. I was like, you know how petty that is. Because a couple of weeks ago, we were like, yo, Drake rented out Dodger Stadium for a day. <laughs> oh, they like, definitely not friends. I forgot about that. Like, they not cool. I'm living in the oh, stadium. Man. What you say? You said uh, he uh, pushed a, a soccer team to the side. Too. Yeah, uh, the Atlanta United, I think. That's, yeah. I, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I don't watch MLS like that. But uh, he's using their locker room. So now... The, the soccer players got moved to a whole different mm-hmm. locker room. A whole we, he out here moving soccer teams. How you feel about that, Craig? <laughs> <laughs> How you feel about that, Craig? <laughs> you know, what, you know, what, you know, like, because the only thing that reminds me of is when Oprah was doing her retirement 
um thing in the United Center. It was during the Bulls playoff run. Yeah. They pushed the Bulls game to a whole nother day. Tag. So she could have her retirement on like a specific day so everybody well, could that, be in Well that's cause that. she could have bought the NBA and the <laughs> WNBA. <laughs> she bought the yeah. Like that's just like power to like no, say that, like, yeah. like that's crazy. Yeah. But that's the thing, is like he could have probably bought that stadium and that soccer team if we're Big, being real. Big enough, yeah. So mm-hmm. so what well so we'll, we'll, let you, we'll let you finish. What is, your ex- what is your excitement for? Because I actually uh, heard some Donda uh, quotes, Dr. West quotes. Uh, they were actually, it was dope because they lined up well yeah. with like, the, the So that's the dope. Going. Um, what is your anticipations for this album? If I, it comes out. I think out. this is going to be album of the year. Obviously, I'm a Kanye stan, so yeah. it's going to be like, oh, of course, we're always going to say that. But from, at least from what we've gathered from information, the Las Vegas listening party, every single song was different. From the Atlanta listening party, different as in it was, wasn't the same songs. Or it like was different songs because okay. for the Las Vegas one, Post Malone was on the album. Really, and uh, like a couple people, could, I think Cuddy was on it. Like yeah. a bunch of there was like at least four or five other features that didn't play that did play at Atlanta. I think Pusha they, T was in Las Vegas, but I don't think they played his song in yeah, Atlanta. No, they did. They did at the very beginning. Oh, I okay, think, okay. Uh, but like Lil Durk was in, in the in the Vegas one, mm-hmm. and he was in the Atlanta one. So, so I is think it a different track list? I'm yeah. sorry to cut you off. So you said it was like 45 think, minutes, right? Yeah. So I think it was longer? different track lists e- e- uh, for both. Because so there was people that went to both. Mm-hmm. They're like, no, these are different, like literally different songs, different people on these. Wow. You think he's going to drop a deluxe? Oh, double? Uh, nah, I don't think he'll do it. I think double? he'll do like a, he'll give us a, a 16 or, eight, or 20 maybe song album. He'll do before a two album. Yeah. Well, because well, how long was like late registration? That was like 21, wasn't it? Yeah. And it so was like an hour song. His album's only but back, but, but back yeah. then, albums were longer. Because you were getting yeah. your money. Because you were actually paying the 13, 15 bucks for because set I had, albums. I had went back and listened to the last three just so I can, you know, see where Kanye was at. And they're not the worst pieces of music ever. Yeah. I mean, they're... They're bad for him. They're not. I wouldn't even call them bad for him, but they're not up to the the part. They're at the bottom for me. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I mean, I definitely see the sound. So like, that's what makes me get excited for. It. But that seven album thing, the seven song that never really flew because. I didn't like that. And then I was I had a little bit of hate in my heart with Kanye because I'm like, bro, you wasted a Nas album. I was kind of yeah. pissed at that. That Nas al- 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 album was trash. Oh, Nas, the one he got, don't he got a Grammy for? The one, no, no, the one no. that he did Kanye before. Did. Oh, okay. Because okay. uh, apparently Nas had the album done, and Kanye listened to it, and he was like, Nah, I could do it. And then they they changed it, and Nas is like, you know, it's Kanye. And then it didn't go the way he yeah. planned. He even now said it. He's like, he's like, no, he made me do this in like two weeks. <laughs> His uh, artist Tiana Taylor had kind of got. She on, didn't like, listen. They, she didn't even hear her album. Nope. Yeah. And they, she actually like got into like a, a yeah. argument with him because she was saying like, I had like plans for this and everything. Mm. You came and kind of just was like, F it. This is what we're gonna. But do. that's what you do. Like you come to Kanye, you you come to Van Gogh, you ain't gonna tell me how to paint this shit. Yeah, but you I'm, ain't gonna tell me how to do that. That's tough though because it, it's your vision. It's your that's vision, true. but you want my help. It's a, it's a give and well, take. Well, she's type his thing. artist though. But that, yeah. I'm just saying. But I mean, you get how much help do you want? If you want me to produce it, then you shut up. If you want me to touch up some, if you want me to make it sound great, I got you. But if yeah. you want me to do your album, yeah, then you just do what I say so because this is me. So was the only positive seven track the Pusha T one? Uh, that was the best and, one. And that one felt like it was too short. Sure. No, that was that the best one, though. That was a good uh, one. I like their kid, the Kid Cudi one. The Kid Cudi one. That was a good one. That was all right. That was okay. okay. But I think I might have liked Ye more than I liked uh, the Kid Cudi Ghost. Kids he goes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I, I like Kid Cudi Ghost better than you. But regardless, uh, very excited, very emotional. Like the Jay-Z, the, the Watch the Throne, the Throne is back. Um, my, folks my friend. Was, folks was going crazy on Twitter about the Jay-Z verse. That was insane. Even yeah. Dwayne Wade put, like, I, I think I'm, I'm crying right now. I yeah. think that's what he tweeted. Yeah. And, and like, everyone was going insane. And then, obviously, you know, Kanye was, like, at the Big Three tournament. That's why it's whole... Because out of nowhere, Kanye just appears Popped and disappears. Up. Yeah. And you hadn't seen you, him for like, a minute. Like, yeah. It was like, why are you at, at all places? You at the Big Three big tournament? Three. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Want to see Mario Chalmers yeah. get buckets again. He must have he must been <laughs> asking Cube for a verse. Like, hey, I need you to get back in the lab. Oh, right man, if he does, it, he's number two of all time. <laughs> if he gets Cube, if he gets Cube, if he gets Cube, <laughs> he's two. If, two. if Cube get on a Kanye track, oh, man. Without cussing? He I don't care if he cuss or not. If Cube get yeah. on a con, oh, yeah, Kanye like joint, like Griselda was at the Las Vegas one, mm-hmm. and he wasn't. They weren't. Their song didn't play at the Atlanta one. Hmm. So I don't know. It's weird. I'm curious. But, I mean, I'm, I'm actually. But I mean, look, like, like Kanye works on to last second. Speaking like, like with Mike Dean, that's his mixer. Yeah. That he meant. <laughs> they say they got he hit this works. Man. He works that man to death. Unless I guess, he's like, I just making tell. y'all build the track list. Yeah. Like, oh, Based here's a bunch of songs. Here's a bunch of songs. What's the What's the album? Which one's on the album? 
type B- shit. Based off the reaction, yeah. what people were saying? Like, yeah. oh, I noticed Jay-Z would be on that one. And he'd be like, nope, that's on Z- Jay album. You know what I'm saying? Like, kind of, oh, what do you think's going to be on what? Because Kid you know? Cudi tweeted that he's not going to yeah, be on that Yeah, he said what he said. But it's like. But, I mean, Lil Durk tweeted he wasn't going to be on it. He's no, like, Lil he's Durk like, actually he's, thought he wasn't going to be on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Like, I, I don't think they played his song at the Las Vegas one, yeah. so he was like, I missed the jet. And then, and I was like, you don't miss a Kanye West check. Yeah, right. If, if on, Kanye bro. sends for you, like when Lil Baby, when he tweeted uh, that they, they don't want me to work with Lil Baby, Lil mm-hmm. Baby was there literally a couple the, days ago. Yeah, early. he was like, shoot, I'll I figure it out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's very exciting time. It's easy season. Yeah. Like I said, it's a season, not a day. Yeah. Sometimes winter, it doesn't snow until February. <laughs> Ex- so, expect our review, so, uh, his single handed review. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, no I, slander I, would for be those calling. who know me personally, I've made my jokes about Kanye, and then, I, you know, when the stuff was going down, I yeah. kind of was like, this bro, like, bro tweaking. But I am excited. He seems like he's in a better spot in life as of yeah. right now. And I'm curious where his creativity is taking him. I wasn't a huge fan of some of his previous works uh, in regards to, like, I'm still not a huge fan of Yeezus. Uh, Life of Pablo, I, I, I kind of enjoyed a little bit. But I'm curious to see where he takes this. Yeah. You dedicate something to your mama. You, you got to kill it. You, you got to come hard. It. Yeah, like, you're waiting on... Uh... Yeah, and like that was dope. He had the the snippets of his mom throughout the no, session, which I'm I'm yeah. assuming that's what he's gonna do on the album. Mm-hmm. And then the like Chris Brown was on the Las Vegas one. He wasn't at the Atlanta one. So, so. it's like a whole crazy. I mean, you make music. It's with an Ye. experience. Yeah, it's like it's a whole show. The rollout is the show. Like just sit back and be excited. Has he always been like that, or is that newer? It's just because um, the more money you get, the bigger it gets. Because you remember I mean, how the Watch the Throne was, how them live shows were. Them was, was that was that was art. That was art. But like, was he always like a super like this rollout about to be a movie type? Like, I don't. Cause I, I mean, I'm cause not Runaway. A he did a movie for Runaway. Yeah. That hour long music video. Yeah. Eight oh eight was kind of. There's yeah. a little performance behind it. Yeah, where he did, he cut his hair. It. He had the the suit at all times. The and yeah, shades. That yeah, was he, like a thing. yeah. For, for for stronger, he had the the shutter shades. Okay, those ridiculous shades. So, I mean, there's his <laughs> and believe it or not, you, a lot of my friends. I I don't. I've never not liked Kanye. Yeah, yeah. He lost me on the music tip. Yeah. But as a person, I've always fucked with Kanye. Mm-hmm. He just when he speaks, <laughs> he <laughs> said he says the right thing, but he says it in the worst way possible. Yeah, he says it. He doesn't know how to. He doesn't I, know how I to think, say shit. I just think so much is running in his head at all times. And that's a, that yeah. he just he just says what comes out first and like no filter whatsoever. So I mean, <laughs> you you get what you get. You know, because yeah. I, I when you shared uh, who's I forgot when I saw the Mike uh, Mike Myers Kanye thing on the uh, the Bush doesn't care about black people. Yeah. yeah. The funniest part of that clip is Chris Tucker. Yeah. He was. Like, he was <laughs> he's like, yeah. Speaker. Because <laughs> they they flash back to him. He was not ready. I didn't even know he was there. The, all these all this time I didn't even know Chris Tucker was there. Yeah, and that was the first very, time I had yeah. saw him. I was like, wow. He was shocked as hell. Yeah. He was like. Uh, uh, I ain't been on TV in, in some, in some years. In minute, since Friday. Yeah, so. oh. <laughs> Is there anything else before we get out of uh, We got to touch on the slavery pics. Oh. Uh, since I we talked so much about it today. I, I, didn't, I didn't see he said. You, said you, never, you never showed I, them. Yeah, I you shared them sh- to the group chat. I'm did you? Telling. Yes. Yes, uh, I did. Now I feel like a bad podcast. Yes. Now I definitely I feel like Maul. Hurry up. No. We're going to hurry up. <laughs> okay, uh, so for those who haven't seen, there was an interracial couple who took some uh, engagement uh, pictures. And... One was white, one was black. The gentleman decided to dress up as a slave. And uh, I think I found it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. Go ahead, D-Up. Just click on that. And, and oh. This one, right? Yes. Oh, man. Yes. That, that is a Caucasian woman. That is a oh. Caucasoid and a Negro. He must have never seen Mandingo. <laughs> or- they boiled that nigga alive from sleeping with that white woman in a pot. I was, I was, uh, yeah. He's wearing the chains. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, she's was, gonna set like, his heart free. That's that's literally, I think, what they. Oh, said. did it, Dan? It was like, like the IG, the IG quote or whatever they used. Because we, ne- I never found the couple. They blocked out their name. I guess because they they're want probably to not together no more. <laughs> <laughs> I told yeah. you this was some goofy shit. <laughs> yeah, because right now I saw the chains and I was like, because at first, at first glance, I was like, oh, maybe it's like in holes. That, oh, that, I, can I can fix, fix that. that. I can fix that. And I was like, no. maybe one of those things. They were in the cornfields with chains. But now nah, he has a chain. I now, now, can't defend that. Now, I have nothing against interracial relationships. At all. But, uh, G Baby, you you have a. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't. No, you, nah, you, nah, nah, don't put nothing you, on me. You have played in the snow. 
I have played in the snow times. fewer times. So I just want to. I just want to say <laughs> he's nice and cold. If, 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 I, I in the night, I hear. I don't want anybody <laughs> trying to trying to trying to put you in any chains, my brother. I told you Trump <laughs> was the last time that I, was, I ever feared I was going in chains Cause, again. Because I might have to hurt somebody. Hell no. Nah. Even if it's you, you gonna see <laughs> you gonna see her on a leash before I'm in yeah. any type of any restriction. <laughs> what do you say? I don't button my shirt to the top because I'm scared of commitment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, but Mr. Not. Zoo, if you end up with a uh, beautiful black woman mm. and y'all, sister, I, I am not putting. I, that's the first thing I am not doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the farthest thing we're doing. Fact, don't even be, buy her a chain. If, if, <laughs> don't, if, don't, if I don't buy her no bracelets, necklace, anklets, <laughs> none of that. Nothing, I, nothing metal. I, I, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the Dirk Nowitzki approach. <laughs> And Are he going to wear the big suits yeah, with the left and, and play? <laughs> and I'll just, I'll just do that. <laughs> he's, he's showing up to all the podcasts with leftovers. He's going to show up with the big suit on. He's going to, hey, what's up, fellas? Y'all? Uh, 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 <laughs> my brothers, brother, brother, brothers. <laughs> How's it going, fellas? He's going to have a koofy on. Oh, it's going to be tight. He's going to have a bun underneath it, just like yeah, yeah. my girl did this up. Had, had, had the baby order to hold it up and everything. <laughs> Interracial couples, do what y'all do. Do what y'all do. Don't do slavery engagement pics, all right? At all. Please. Don't, if it's got slavery involved, it's probably a bad idea. I don't even want to see them quotes where it was like, you know how, because uh, every year they have that uh, when the when interracial relations was made legal. Yeah. I don't even want to see those posts. You see, that's yeah. crazy. You have to say they were made legal. Exactly. You said <laughs> exactly. <to> but <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't even want to see those IG posts. Oh, well, 85 years ago, this wouldn't even been possible. We want to yeah. thank the, the, the legislation. of Stop. Stop it. Stop it. We you, get it. You know what's crazy? And this is kind of, it's about the same thing. Whatever. Go ahead. But today, Emmett Smith, uh, not Emmett Smith, Emmett, Emmett Till would have been 80 years old. That's yes. crazy. And my grandma just passed a few years ago. Rest in peace, grandma. In peace. And she was over 80. So that wasn't that long ago. And I knew her my whole life. Yeah. Yep. You see what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's Grandma nuts. Jean. Yeah, my great, uh, great grandma passed away last year and she was uh, 90. 93? Yeah. So when she like was that? like a teenager when that happened? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. That's so, nice. Yeah, it's insane. Like, so everybody wants to and he knew like, her. Like, like you said, don't congratulate him for doing the bare fucking the minimum. Bare minimum. The bare minimum. minimum. It's literally bare minimum. Like, that, like, they were, that shouldn't have happened. two human beings yeah. that <laughs> decided they wanted to get married. Like, yeah. oh, well, thank you. Oh, yes. It, it, why not? Why not? Uh, what was the issue? Yeah. <laughs> what was the issue? What was the issue? They care about each other. That's uh, what, yeah, more, yeah. what more can you want? And like going to the Emmett Till thing, I think I, I read somewhere that Emmett Till, Dr. King, and Anne Frank would all be the same age or roughly like three yeah. years apart or something. And like you that. look at when they died. <laughs> yeah. Like he was 14. She was what, 15? And Martin Luther King was probably 40? Yeah. yeah. You see, And they were born the same year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like we said Rosa Parks heard. The song she Rosa Parks by Oprah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, she just died, I think, 10 years ago. Yeah. So it's like she, she, did somebody say she lived a, enough time to see both Shrek 1 and 2. Yeah. Like, that's a thing. That's, that's, that's not that long ago. It was cinematic that long masterpiece. Ago. Yes, it was. Cinematic masterpiece. <laughs> yes, it was. And before we get up out of here, how could we forget about Dre? Oh, <laughs> we almost forgot about Dre. <laughs> we forgot to say how much we're selling the document. Oh, yeah, because oh. we Zoo was quick with the Kanye. Yeah. Yeah, how much <laughs> how much we selling excited. this document doc for mm, throw me a Kanye number since this episode. Seven. Eight. <laughs> eight. Eight hundred and eight thousand dollars. Oh, eight oh eight. I like that. I like that. Okay, so speaking on Mr. Yeah. Mr. Dre, uh everybody knows, well, a lot of people know that he divorced his wife. Almost what two three years ago at this point. They, yeah, they've been, been in, they've been in litigation battles tooth and nail. She was finally awarded three million dollars. Was it a year or a, uh, I think a year? Three million dollars a year for spousal whatever legal time. What? <laughs> That's a ridiculous amount. Hey yo, he's a billionaire, but still three million a year. This might be the Kanye episode, but he said if you ain't no punk. Holla, we want premium. <laughs> Dr. Dre must have missed that out. He missed that so for sure. But now, it's I will, still Dre Day, nigga. I, I, hey, I, Dre, I, nigga. Now look, now Dre, now there has she, been stories of like his, like him not being the yeah. best spouse to her in the past. She, I get she, that. She, but just, let's just, let's just make this conversation <laughs> about the divorce court yeah. in general. She, Why is this so? St women have rights now. Yeah. There's no reason that the divorce court should be this stacked against men. Against them, yeah. To be with. Three million a year, or what? It may be even yeah. more than that. 
Come on, bro. I would have been like, I'll pay it, but she gotta produce Eminem next album. <laughs> I was like, she gonna do it. She Don't, gotta work no. for this. She gotta do it. She, she gotta, gotta work for this. <laughs> she earn it. You gotta it. earn this, man. Yeah. Work on game next album, even though he retired seven <laughs> times already. Yeah. She she has real motherfucking G's on replay, bro. She, she's like Easy made uh, J Day made Easy <laughs> Payday or something Jesus, like that. Jesus, man, like that's she, just, she that's that so evil, playing. bro. They like, tried to tell you, bro. I mean. I, I mean, but it's like, no, Dre didn't never fall off. He's damn near, what, $250 million away from a billion? Like, oh it, Dre didn't like fall that. off, you know? Like, so I don't know why she putting him through this. Dre, Dr. Dre ordered to pay over $3.5 million per year in spousal support. That's crazy. Facts. To his ex what is she gonna? What is she going to do? What lifestyle hey, are you living when you need the, that much money? That's the, always their logic, though. I've gotten so used to this lifestyle. You spending, I need money to, to, to you maintain spending three mi- It take you $3 million a year to maintain crazy well when you, you was married when you that Dre, much, but what what bill she didn't pay since she'd been married to Drake? i'm not tr- trust me i'm not arguing with you if you if, no i i know rico penny <laughs> pitch over, not arguing, right? I'm, not, I'm not arguing with you she with three bit three million that's 2.9999 million more than she me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean it's wild three yeah it's million. crazy if you spend three million dollars a year personally on yourself and you don't have shit to show for yeah. it like three million dollars in clothes like you're never gonna wear that yeah I can see. I, oh, I, can, I bought a car this year, and it was the fastest shit on earth. I spent three million dollars. Yeah. I understand that it's, you see that that type of splurge. But yeah. if you're spending three million on food, drinks, vacation, and yeah. that's yeah. a lot of yeah, like, money. Is that, I can see like maybe Dre has like let's say five or six houses. It's like all right, Dre, give her one of the houses. She could do. I'm sure it's like a five million dollar house. She could do with that as she pleases. Yes. she could live there. She and, can sell and it. Then, she and can do whatever she, could she sell wants. It. She could rent it out, but five. Come on. But it's the same with, it's even the same with the, uh, well, like, well, like child support and stuff. Yeah. When these athletes and stuff get like books for child support. Ridiculous. With a ridiculous number. Mind you, they got some, a lot of times they get some regular, degular person pregnant. And yeah. all of a sudden now she needs 875000 a year to maintain it's, it's this like, baby. But, see that, but that, but the child support system, shout out to my knowledge I've been reading. Go ahead. It's, uh, child support was be- meant to break up the black family because all, well, more minority in this because women get more without the father being there. Especially in they assume in lower income black families, the the woman most of the time is I don't need the I don't need the father because Section Eight and child support and wit. There's too many generations of that because they're trying to x out the black family. Okay. That's what child support was for. Wow. That's yeah. why you see a lot of these women like, oh, I'm strong independent. Ain't nothing wrong with being independent, but nobody's dependent. Yeah. Nobody in this world is dependent mm-hmm. because we said that on the other episode. Like you got to report to the government. You got to report to the taxes. And that's what child support is. It's like, oh, if we can stop her from having any more black children, let the father go. If he could just get one and done, that child's going to statistically come from a single parent home in probably a low income area. And we've all seen that story play out. Yeah. That's what child support is. That's crazy. It's insane. And it makes sense. It does. I never thought about it like that. I never thought about it like that, but it makes perfect sense. All these men, the demascul- uh, uh, demasculation of black men, all these single men grow up in a house full of moms, aunties, and grandma. You don't know how to be a man. That's because a direct effect of why would I get a thousand dollars a month from him when I can get thirty five hundred in groceries yeah. and get my rent paid? I don't need him. He's hurting me. Yeah. That's the mentality they tried to create in black women, mm-hmm. and yeah. that's why there's the generation of oh we live in Section Eight, and that's why it's such a thing is because we so independent we don't need no man. But look at how fucked yeah. this is yeah. from thirty forty generations. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And now that and now that kid is looking for a that male role is, model. So the anybody kid. that kid's looking like I don't need to take care of no no kids because yeah. my daddy didn't yeah you know or they get demasculated like they you know yeah. I don't know any better most men be like oh I got the first male influence in my life my high school gym teacher yeah that be most dudes sh- shit oh the dude I mean, on the block you yeah. know what I'm saying like what is the dude on the block gonna tell you he ain't never been off the block yeah <laughs> you see what I'm saying what's he gonna tell you yeah. So I mean, it's it's fucked up out here. It's, it's very, fucked yeah. up. So it's like find somebody that you know y'all not gonna divorce, especially when we blow up. I, ain't no divorce, bitch. Uh, ain't no divorce. Ain't no ain't no divorce. How much money did you have when you came into this relationship? That's I'll, what you give, I'll double it. <laughs> if you had fifty, I'm gonna slide you to two just off rip. Just, <laughs> just off the because you off need the it. Because you probably gonna need it. <laughs> That's so wild though, and it, it, it's it's weird. Because it's like most cele- like when celebrities marry each other, a lot of times they immediately just do a prenup because yeah. it's like it's easier that way. Yeah. But when they like when you see people when you come start up building, together, yeah. So it's like you can't necessarily say he or she doesn't deserve what, because a lot of times, so like with the actors or the the musicians or or whoever, a lot of times the the wife 
spent all the time raising up the kids right. because daddy yeah. on tour, daddy's in the studio. So to, I get it, to provide bro. a lot. So I can get that to a certain extent. But like if you if I'm an athlete and I get somebody pregnant or whatever, and we don't work out as a couple, yeah. I don't see why I, I'm not abandoning the kid. I'm yeah. not hurting the kid. Why all of a sudden does the does the yeah. girl need it 500000 be, Because it, it's not going to the kid. Yeah, like, it should, it, it is, should be a thing where it, it goes directly to the kid as in like either, a either, either yeah. a trust fund for him where he could access when he's older or just like literally the bills. So it's like, all right, I'll, obviously he's my kid. I'm well off. He's going to a private school or whatever. I'll pay for the school out front. I'll pay for his food. This kid's only eating, mm-hmm. let's say, 200 bucks, 100 bucks in groceries a week. Yeah, if that, it, I mean, I you could make petty. a stretch. I would be super petty and be like, how much are you getting? Three million a year? I'm like, you got to spend that every single year and I want to see the receipts. If it's one dollar off, I'm yeah. off this shit. I'm changing. Like, you you want 3.5 million? Spend 3.5 million every single year. She you don't get no rollover You money. don't get no savings. You don't get no, 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 rollover, no, no rollover minutes. The rest comes back to me. <laughs> so, and I'll tell her this shit right in like August. But oh, you done already spent 2.8. Like, damn. Spend, now, you ain't even spent it yet. Give me that shit back. Yeah. Give me all of that shit back. Mm-hmm. It's a it's 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 an evil game, it's and it's not. And it, I don't I don't see it getting any better because, like you said, it it's depends like, on the woman too. Because women, most be, women, I want me, I want to be a millionaire too. You put me through all this where I had to raise four kids for eighteen years by themselves. Like yeah, I want some sort of conversation. Which I can understand. Which, that. Here, take if I'm Drake, take the fifty mil and don't talk to me no more. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We'll see each other at holidays and fact We'll be cordial and social. Yeah. But here's fifty mil. You it's go literally, that, it's literally until she dies. Like it's three point five million a yeah, year. That's crazy. Until she dies. So it's say, crazy. Man, I don't it's know. Hey, all this means is uh we're getting uh, Dr. Dre produced Kendrick Lamar album. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> or or like you say, he's gonna have to master Donda because it's yeah. like that money going that money gotta come from somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, no, for sure. So be careful who drop detox. Be careful who you <laughs> impregnate, cause uh, n- people are out here getting getting murdered in yeah. in these courts. In the in the world of uh, these chicks, uh, I don't know this young lady's name. Get yourself a uh, Savannah James. <laughs> Savannah James. He was just a kid from Akron. <laughs> she, she held it down. She held it down. And before, before, before we get out before, of here. Before, before. <laughs> gotta get some Rico slander out the way. Sorry, Xavier. Uh, pardon, oh, pardon, pardon. Oh, some Xavier slander. <laughs> so. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Rico graduated. Congratulations yeah, again. Congratulations. And congratulations. I apologize for these jokes to the Whitehead clan. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you guys are wonderful for letting us in your house. Yeah. But man, we walk in there. Crowded, everybody. Oh my God, is that Zoo from Friendly oh. Fire Podcast? We, oh yeah, we go in there. Zoo come in first, so I'm cool. You know, I walk down. It's no drywall, no paint, no nut. It's flat screen TVs, bro, <laughs> on the wall throughout the whole basement. It's two bathrooms in there. It's an Italian beef stand with the cheese fountain going, bro. It's all type of le- couches <laughs> covered in leather and diamonds. I was shocked. Leather and diamonds. Leather and diamonds. I say, bro, what kind of chicken is this? Sharks. I was expecting like some uh, European chicken or something. I was cool. That's cool. I sit down. I'm thinking, damn, why we ain't do, do the podcast here? So I ask, like Rico, why ain't we do the podcast here? He I'm just gonna let y'all niggas in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I was damn. I was cool. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> How long have you been working on this? <laughs> I promise you when I text you at McDonald's. That was <laughs> He's like, I know I'm gonna do this today. I was just, bro, jokes be going through my head oh, like that. Man, bro. that is hilarious. <laughs> But shout out Rico but no, and all serious, yeah. I do appreciate you guys for sliding through. It was a lot of fun. My parents enjoyed y'all. Craig. <laughs> uh, my, my man. My parents, my parents, my siblings definitely enjoyed you guys uh, coming. Like I said, yeah. they said they told me when everybody was like, "You got some really good friends." I'm like, "I know, like I know, I, I'm, I'm well aware." We on the but I, I appreciate you guys for sure. For, no problem. For, for Thanks for the them. catfish nice. nuggets was the most. Yeah, yeah they, they smacked. Man, I my, filled up half my plate. My with boy Kawanis was like, <laughs> my boy Kawanis was rubbing his hands. He was like, "All right, these catfish nuggets. How, how many can I take home?" I'm like, "Bro, just y'all dog the t- taco salad. I ain't even getting none. Uh, I ain't getting no second. Yeah, and, oh no, that, that's a white head yeah. specialty. If you, no, yeah, that was really good. And you gotta really get good. in where you fit in with that. I, ain't gonna yeah. Front. I can get, yeah, my, my grandma. I, I, no, ne- yeah, next down. Ne- next down. time we have some, y'all, that's the first she thing. Said, y'all next time go she cook, I'm right up the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For, forget selling the docket, sell that recipe. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show up with a knife and fork. Hey, Rico, I was just in the neighborhood, man. <laughs> y'all having dinner or nah? <laughs> where grandma at? <laughs> she cook. Oh, I gotta keep pushing him. But no, uh, all jokes aside, like I said, I appreciate you guys showing out. That was a lot of fun. 
We thank you guys for tuning in per usual. Yes. This has been another thrilling installment of the Friendly Fire Podcast. If you guys have any questions uh, that you guys want us to answer, you can always DM us at friendly underscore fire on IG. You guys can email us at friendlyfire2021 at gmail.com. Once again, friendlyfire2021 at gmail.com. Once again, next episode, if y'all didn't notice, 20 will be legal. 21. Maybe you're 21. 21, the next episode. Oh, yeah, you're right. Next episode, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stepping all on my jokes. Don't want me in his house. (laughs) That's crazy. I'm sorry. That's crazy. That's what, five months? Yeah, yeah that that's nice. We've been here. We Five been. Half the, almost half the year. We've been here. We've been, We've been here grinding. And we thank you guys. Drop for- that grinding beat uh, from <laughs> ghetto to ghetto to the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> that's fit it with. No, oh, man. <laughs> so we thank y'all for tuning in per usual. Uh, like I said, any artists that want to share any music, spoken word, whatever, yeah. email us the MP3. If we like it, it will be going on to the end of our podcast. Also, any black owned companies, any minority companies that got merch or whatever that you guys want to you know, sell us, have us show out on we the pod. On the pod. We will wear it. We ain't get, shoot, we'll wear it. Jordan we sent me now. this shirt like eight years ago from Foot Locker. Bow Wow sent me this <laughs> shirt, okay? And I'm wearing it. I would it. send it back if I was you, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, man, uh, we, we thank y'all for tuning in. Like I said, any artists, any black businesses, any minority businesses, you guys want to get your stuff broadcasted, hit us up. We are out here trying to connect and elevate everybody else, all right? Is there anything else you guys want to say before we get out of here? No. No. On behalf of my support. boys, thank you for the support. For the support. We don't get to five months without people deciding to listen. So we thank y'all Respects. for listening. Right. We are appreciative. We don't take any of this for granted. Mm-hmm. I am Rico, G-Baby, Raul Zuki with Friendly Fire. Be blessed. Peace.